Song of Songs, also known as the Song of Solomon, takes its title from the first verse of the book, which mentions who the song comes from, the Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. This title also denotes its superiority as in Holy of Holies, its equivalent to Most Holy. Hence, the writer considers this the greatest of all songs. Its inclusion in the Bible is rather unusual because it is basically a series of poems about physical love, mostly in the form of a dialogue between a man and a woman. The emphasis is on the sanctity of marriage and how it is designed, blessed and consecrated in the eyes of the Lord. A most often quoted passage in wedding is found here in chapter 8, verse 7. Many waters cannot quench love, nor can rivers drown it. If a man tried to buy love with all his wealth, his offer would be utterly scorned. The Song of Songs' willingness to broach the topic of physical affection has made many of its readers throughout history uncomfortable. But it serves to highlight that both marriage and the physical union originate from God. And at the same time, this union of love is also an illustration of God's love for His people and Christ's love for His bride.